set your hands in table pose. Exhale all the way out, round your spine into cat. Inhale, melt the base of the heart, look forwards. Exhale, draw the waistline back, navel slurping into the spine. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, draw in. And pressing down through the tops of your feet, float the knees two inches off the mat. Continue to fill the waistline, drawing the floating ribs into the body. Feed the exhalation into the spine. Lower down and flow through a couple rounds of cat and cow. Rise into downward dog. Draw the waistline back, bringing a tone to the lower belly. Stretch from the heart into the hands. Pivot forwards into a plank, keeping the fullness in the waistline, and back to dog. From plank, draw the knee to the forehead, the forehead to the knee. Inhale, reach out through the limbs. Exhale, knee to forehead, forehead to knee, and stretch back. Repeat as necessary. For a next variation, Draw the knee to the armpit, slide the knee down the arm to the wrist, slurp it back up into the armpit, and back to plank. Repeat as necessary, switching for both sides. never hesitating to take a child's pose to catch up to the breath. Now set your sit bones into the floor, root through your heels, and bring a tone to your legs. Draw one heel into the, into the body, and begin to scroll yourself down vertebrae by vertebrae. You'll get to a slippery point where you feel you want to fall. At that point, draw in more and ease yourself down. Exhale, curl up, root the foundation, and rise. Taking it one vertebrae at a time, emphasizing quality versus quantity of reps. and switching legs. This next flow will be taken from boat pose. So here's a way to feel the core engaging in boat. Root your heels and traction your heels towards your sit bones. Then rise to boat. From the core, fold into Paschimottanasana. Rise up. Lift your sit bones. Slide your heels back. Curl deep into your belly. And scroll heels reaching to the sky. Emphasizing the core throughout this entire flow. Core Navasana. From the waist, fold forwards. Rise up, 
plant the hands, curl into yourself, scroll back, reach the legs to the sky. Repeat as many times as necessary. Now for this next variation of boat, loop the strap, walk your heels to your buttocks, and bring the strap around the base of the heart or the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Walk your heels in towards your sit bones. And really make sure that the, snap, the strap is snug and tight. You may even have to tie a knot to keep everything together. Stretch the legs out fully. Lift through the base of the heart. Supported boat pose. From here, curl up, fill the waistline. If you're having trouble getting your lift, you can always use the blocks. To rise up into the swing. Have some fun with it. Play around. Coming back to the first plank exercise. If you're having difficulty bringing the knee to the forehead without the foot brushing on the ground, the blocks are always there to support you. Emphasizing the fullness in the waistline. To finish off, <clears throat> we'll work on stretching out the lower belly. Stack your elbows below your shoulders into a sphinx pose. And momentarily plug out of the back bend, curl into yourself and look at your belly. Draw your lower ribs into the body, keeping that open up through the shoulders and heart. You should feel this creates a soothing fullness in the waistline then peel open across the upper back. Same applies for Cobra. Plug out, stabilize the midsection, then find full fullness across the base of the heart. Push back into Downward Dog, decompress the spine, and return to Child's Pose to rest. And that's a wrap.